What can 2K US troops do that 300,000 Israeli troops can't do in Israel? Why do we need to send troops to a nation that is pretty well defended enough? Significant here at this moment, significant that troops are being told to essentially stand by. Big caveats, as I know that you and your team are reporting out, it doesn't mean they're going, it doesn't mean they're on their way, and it doesn't mean that they're necessarily headed specifically to Israel. Correct. All of the above is absolutely correct, Tally. So at this point, this is a group of soldiers, U.S. soldiers, who were already on uh, essentially a short leash for deployment. So a 96 hours, what they call it. They've been that that has been shortened to a 24 hour. That means that once they get the call saying, hey, you have to deploy, they literally have to be on the airfield ready to go within 24 hours. And the idea is if, in fact, they get that order, they have not gotten yet, they would go to the region, most likely to a country neighboring or nearby to Israel. Now, it's also important to point out that this is a whole mix of different troops. So it includes medical troops, people who could support with medicals um, and medical evacuations and things, um, explosive ordnance, people who are, you know, experts in explosives. But it also will include sort of your classic infantry troops. So a whole mix of individuals here. Now, I also have to point out, Yes, no orders. Yes, at this point, they would not go to Israel. But the officials who we're speaking with are not ruling out the possibility that ultimately some of them actually could go to Israel to support the IDF. Again, though, the caveat is it's not for to, to support with kinetic operations. It would be to support things like the explosive experts could help with if, if the Israeli, the IDF is, um, let's say that they're just busy with any with the ground offensive in Gaza. They could be helping back. in Busy? How could... They be so busy that they would need one or two explosive experts from the United States to figure out some bomb in Israel with other support. So again, I know this is confusing. Uh, this is because it's it's not very clear what these troops when they might go yeah. or what they specifically would be doing, but they are on a short leash to potentially deploy 